Good morning, guys. इच्छा श्वेता रिया अनुराग नैना अंकिता शंकर यस इच्छा ऑल ऑफ यू अ वेरी वॉर्म गुड मॉर्निंग एक्चुअली नाउ इट शुड बी कूल गुड मॉर्निंग बिकॉज गर्मी आ गई है सो वी नीड कूल मॉर्निंग राइट एंड यस अ वेरी हैप्पी वीमेंस डे टू यू ऑल इवन टू ऑल द बॉयज आउट देर हैप्पी वीमेंस डे गाइज यू गॉट मदर्स सिस्टर्स गर्ल फ्रेंड्स चाचीज दादीज एंड teachers like me in your lives so happy women's day to you as well ha sejal alina shefali aditi harshita all the beautiful women out there in my class including me of course hai na we all rock more power more freedom more happiness more laughter sunshine yes shweta Binu Thomas, same to you. Sejal, yes, everybody, all of you out there. So, guys, once again, welcome to the session. This is the 15-minute editorial, which we do every morning except Sundays, because that day, Sunday is supposed to be my sofa day. You all know it very well by now. Yeah. Oh, Harshita, that's so sweet. Same here. Proud to have a student like you in my life. And trust me, guys. i always wish the best for the girls even in my class like girls and boys are there boys are definitely my darlings but girls are super darlings somehow i always favor girls because i want girls to come up in life i want girls to succeed in life to break those glass ceilings to shatter them and come out of them all right so let's move on with today's session it's an editorial taken from the new york times and this is women's day special of course so it's going to talk about a woman i'm taking you forward now yes stay tuned uh, just sit tight first an announcement about cat, iconic cat 21 please uh, take a subscription for iconic in case you want one on one mentorship because uh, every person requires a good mentor and if you can afford it why not just go for it the weekly scholarship test which has been curated by experts keeping your requirements in mind so please take it there's no harm in taking the test and aap se extra paise nahi liye ja rahe hain test ke okay let's come yes pari pari abhishek rathi yes tanvi khurana anamika arun emhola mani yes this is the the women's day special thing first thing we should get the pronunciation right of this particular word wo man is singular and we men usme m e n aata hai sare matlab jo gents hai na sare men they are there contained in women theek hai so let's first clear the pronunciation because i have heard many and many and many people pronounce these two words wrongly wo man look at the mouth wo man and we men all right so we are talking about international women's day which is celebrated across the world on 8th of march वैसे तो लड़कियों हर दिन हमारा होता है we don't need a women's day to proclaim our power or majesty or something right फिर भी एक दिन को चलो यू नो दारू पीने के लिए पार्टी करने के लिए पावी पावी करने के लिए कुछ एक दिन बहाना तो चाहिए होता है ना so इसलिए हमने नाम रख लिया 8th of march okay now the tagline over here says break the glass ceilings glass ceilings kya hota hai ladke glass ceilings are i mean even boys need to understand this phrase because this can be there in your rc glass ceilings are the ceilings which are there but since they are made of glass the women can't see the ceilings the women feel oh yes we are going to fly they spread their wings they flap the wings and are ready to fly but then they go and takrao fai 
against the ceiling. Yes, they bump against the ceiling and then they fall back to the ground. So those are called glass ceilings. Bola jata, yes, yes, you can go out and work. Why not? Bilkul job kariye aap. Hum to chahte hain ki aap humare ghar ki bahu bane aur aap job kare. Hume pasand hai job karne wali bahu hai. Lekin, 5 baje ke baad aap bahar nahi reh sakti hain. Khana to aap koi ghar aakar ke banana hai. Aur office se aap ko sara phone karke sari grocery ko coordinate aap hi ko karna hai. काम वाली अगर जिस दिन नहीं आई तो आप काम पे कैसे जा सकती हैं बिकॉज दैट इज योर ड्यूटी भाई बच्चे जब आपने पैदा कर ले हैं तो फिर ऑब्वियसली छह महीने पहले छह महीने बाद तो आपको जॉब छोड़नी है राइट right. आप शाम को लेट नहीं जा सकती हैं बाहर अकेले तो बिल्कुल नहीं जा सकती हैं हमारा बेटा जाके आपको ड्रॉप करेगा जॉब पे और वापस लेके आएगा टैक्सीज एन एब्सोल्यूट नो नो दीज आर द्लास सीलिंग्स सो शी इज अलाउड टू इन डीड गो आउट एंड वर्क बट एन लुक एट द Uh, the kind of the rules, the laws that are holding her back. Okay, so here's to strong women. May we know them, may we be them, may we raise them. And uh, I can just tell you a few names, some women that I admire. Oprah Winfrey, the top one on the list. She is like a big name to reckon with. Ellen DeGeneres, she does talk shows. You should watch this woman. Ellen, E L L E N. Then the third one on my list is uh, Indra Nooyi, the ex-CEO of PepsiCo. The fourth one on my list is uh, Priyanka Chopra, who made it even to Hollywood, and she's such a big name. So these four or five names are like women I really look up to. I aspire to be like them one day. Okay, guys, let's move on with the article for today. Ellen, you like Anurag? Even I like what she speaks. Yes, Abhay. Good. Good to know that you guys know who Ellen DeGeneres is. And check out Oprah Winfrey. Check out uh, Indra Nooyi, Priyanka Chopra. To aap sab jaate. Yes, Shankar. Of course, I miss that. For you guys, the most powerful woman so far on your list, two hain. Ek to your mama, and second is Shabana Ma'am. Hai na? All right. Chalo, let's move on, guys. Mamta Di Shubhadeep, seriously. <laughs> okay, guys, let's move on with the editorial for today. It's something very nice, and the questions are extremely crisp. Biscuit bhi itna crisp nahi hota hoga jitne aaj ke questions hain. Even I was smiling while I was setting the questions. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman, yes, she is good. Sudha Murthy is good, but they are not on my list as such. I gave you my list. Four to five women are there on my list. Okay, Rashi. Yes. Now let's take a look at this particular passage. There is narrative style which has been employed by the author. Narrative style किसको कहते हैं? वो tone में भी जाता है. When the when it is in first person. Take a look now. I have been asked asked repeatedly in recent days to explain Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's accomplishment. The two dots over there, the colon. Who is Justice Ruth Bader? She passed away a few days back, something in September 2020 or something. I don't remember exactly. She was a U.S. lawyer and a justice in the Supreme Court. Okay, and she used to advocate women emancipation, women equality, gender equality, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, so she was an activist, also not exactly an activist, I would call, but she stood up for women. Now. How did she, a young unknown lawyer, starting basically from scratch, persuade the nine men of the Supreme Court to join her in constructing a new jurisprudence of sex equality? So this paragraph tells us that she. I have highlighted that nice phrase in dark, in bold. She started basically from scratch. She had nobody to support her. and there were nine other men in the supreme court maybe in the same bench or something and she convinced them to kind of go ahead with sex equality gender equality right look at the second paragraph again in narrative style i replied so this question has been asked of me that why why did she do that how was she able to do it i replied that she had a project a goal from which she never deviated her during a long career she was focused it was to have not only the constitution but also society understand that both the sexes are equal so it was not her duty just to make the constitution or the law 
abide by this thing that okay women are also born equal she wanted the society also to accept it with open arms right and take a look at the last paragraph on this slide fair enough as far as that explanation goes but now all of you know very well chaitanya alina mayank jaise hi hum but laate hain that means the portion after that assumes more importance so take a look at that line but i think it misses something deeper kya hai bhai ye to theek hai she fine she kind of convinced everybody that but there was something deeper to this particular lady that we are talking about jinsberg who gave up the ghost recently get that pronunciation correct it's not ghost it's ghost d d o h is silent theek hai gave up the ghost means died what she had in addition to passion skill and a field martial sense of strategy was imagination just last night or night before yesterday we were discussing something about vision um kind of you know foreseeing the future and thinking about like in a visionary way we were discussing some passage in which there was this thing mentioned imagination vision visionary okay so this is what this lady possessed abhishek tiwari coming up with the question you will love the first question and if you have done figures of speech with me you will get it pronto so just check the three paragraphs for a figure of speech i'm taking you over to the question ayantika shefali just check can you spot any figure of speech in the three paragraphs which have adopted that narrative style Yes, it's a you're very right, very right. Even I could not remember which passage. There you go. You are absolutely brilliant. All right, fine. Take a look at this. Which figure of speech has been used in those three paragraphs at one point, not the whole par whole of the three paragraphs, maybe just at one point. Euphemism, metaphor, paradox. For those of you who had not attended my figures of speech, I'll give you a quick recap. Euphemism is गाली ऐसे देना मिठाई के डब्बे में लपेट करके कि पता ही ना चले कि आपने गाली दी है राइट मेटाफॉर इज कंपेरिजन यू आर अ लायन एज ब्रेव इज अ लायन नहीं यू आर अ लायन पैराडॉक्स इज उल्टा सो सेजल इफ यू से बी वेर इज द मेटाफॉर यस इन डीड गाइज यू ऑल गॉट इट इट्स ए कैन यू शो मी वेर दैट यूफेमिज्म इज as that there is no metaphor there is no comparison over here with like comparison with somebody else where is the metaphor oh, okay so tell me the euphemism if you guys are saying a and indeed a is the answer which is the euphemism yes abhishek rathi very good when somebody dies we say kick the bucket or pass away or give up the ghost or de uh, departed for heavenly abode so these are like polite ways of saying that that particular person has died very good all right moving on to the next part only these two paragraphs and then a line of questions very exciting the author explains her vision so like you know the third paragraph finished by saying that okay she had vision she had imagination she was a visionary now the author is going on to explain her vision she envisioned a world different from the one she had grown up in an inference question over here can be very neatly said she had grown up in a world where there was gender disparity this is what we call inference getting it guys she had grown up in a world different from the world she had she she envisioned a world different from the one she had grown up in उसको चाहिए था इक्वल दैट मीन शी हैड ग्रोन अप इन एन इन इक्वल वर्ल्ड इच्छा एंड सेजल अ बेटर वर्ल्ड इन विच जेंडर वाज नो ऑब्स्टिकल दैट मींस इन द वर्ल्ड दैट शी ग्रो अप इन देयर वाज ऑब्स्टिकल राइट टू देयर एबिलिटी टू ड्रीम बिग एंड टू रियलाइज देयर एस्पिरेशंस वी ऑल हैव एस्पिरेशंस आई हैव माइंड यू हैव योर्स मे गॉड हेल्प अस बट दैट विल हैपन ओनली व्हेन वी आर मेंटली स्ट्रांग एंड व्हेन वी स्टे ट्रू टू आवर सेल्फ्स if we keep trying the last line then she set out to use the law to usher that world into existence amrish same here okay so she finally decided kafan bandli usne sat pe and she decided to usher that world into existence till when it was a world of her imagination she could envision it 
she said no the world that i grew up in i don't want to see that again i want to make a difference in this world i want to create a different kind of world for women she set out to do that to bring it to reality the la the last paragraph what fired her imagination who are kes say look at the nice phrases fired her imagination yes there was her eye opening time spent in the startlingly egalitarian sweden of the 1950s by egalitarian ka matlab hota hai equal a country that practices equality a society that advocates the equality of men and women and people and rich and poor and everybody he is saying startlingly egalitarian sweden of the 1950s that fueled her imagination yes there was her ability to get a top inability to get a top rank job or clerkship or something despite graduating from law school at the top of her class or oh, she was a front bencher she passed with flying colors she was very good in her academics despite that she did not get a job that fueled her imagination oh oh mere sath disparity i'll change it the last point yes her mother celia bader transferred her own thwarted ambitions to her brilliant daughter another inference question over here her mother had some ambitions which could not be fulfilled do you see how inference questions are set guys so this is like another thing which fueled her imagination her mother who could not fulfill her ambitions passed on those to her daughter and the daughter said okay i will take it forward and i'll make sure that this comes true got it this brings me to the end of the passage but now a barrage of questions is coming up are you guys ready for those everybody i want an affirmation or just we alina ria mayank prathamesh sushil three to four questions coming up based on these two paragraphs so i'm giving you 30 seconds take a look once again at these two paragraphs digest drink sip slurp gulp do whatever you want and off we go to the questions mazedar questions hain you will love them absolutely ujwal ojaswi sare mere pyare bachcho fasten your seat belts the first one which of the following fueled her vision take a look and give me the answer let's see who the smartest one is I'll just drop you one hint. Word play, word play, word play. Come on, Alina. You guys have done so much practice, so many inference questions with me. You should get this right. Fueled her vision. Just read carefully, guys. Don't be hasty. Abhishek says C. the other the others in the class say a okay meghna says c meghna why c some people say b jishan says c utkarsh c okay alina or nahi hota hai cat mein amit c okay divyang abhinav those of you who marked a priti rajput astha Sarab and the others who marked A. Do you see the tricky cause and effect which I have taught you repeatedly in my classes? The prevalent egalitarianism led to gender disparity. वो तो सिर्फ बोला है वहाँ कि भाई egalitarian Sweden में there was gender disparity. She could not get a job in Sweden in spite of the fact that there was egalitarianism. the tricky cause and effect haven't you read that with me kal bhi kiya tha aastha right i'll take you back to the paragraph you can see her eye opening time spent in the startlingly egalitarian sweden of the 1950s startlingly means shockingly egalitarian egalitarian tha lekin shocking tha right this doesn't say that it led to gender disparity and egalitarian tha that's why gender disparity happened so obviously a is out check option b those of you who marked it her frustration at the fact that she was over qualified for the jobs does the paragraph say that she was over qualified guys 
No, right? Indeed, it is C. Her, her desire to fulfill her mother's thwarted udhar bola hai. I gave you unfulfilled ambitions. I have told you that the inference question is perfect place. Hai ye. That, that particular point, thwarted ambition said that means her mother had some ambitions which she could not fulfill. Yes, Dishan, you were right. You had got the right answer. Very well done. Meghna Parwani, you had got the right answer. Good. So C is indeed the answer. Perfect, guys. Is it clear? All right. Then we be to overqualified to thi ni ka diya hua overqualified thi. Yes, Harshita. Moving on to the next one. What is the author's tone in the first two lines? First two lines, I'll show you where. First two lines of the second paragraph. Just check. Anushka, author's tone in the first two lines of the second paragraph on the slide. What fired her imagination? Yes, there was her eye-opening time spent in the startingly egalitarian Sweden of the 1950s. Egalitarian bhi tha. Shocking bhi tha. Oh, oh, so what is he trying to say? I'll take you back to the options. There you go. Tell me guys. Sarcastic, factual, derisive. Yes, Meghna Parwani. Yes, all of you got it. Very good. A, indeed, indeed, indeed. It is sarcastic. Egalitarian is supposed to be good, Harshita. Egalitarian, egalitarian is supposed to be equal. It's supposed to be good for the people. You will not use startingly egalitarian. Startingly is shockingly. So if you are saying she was, she was startingly well behaved, kuch garbad hai uske well behaved. She was startingly honest. Kuch to garbad hai. Okay? So startingly egalitarian. Oh bhai, it was supposed to be egalitarian and it was starting. Uski to aankhe khul gai. Aise egalitarian society mein rahe karke. Derisive is extreme. That cannot be your tone. Extreme tones mein de chuki hu. Class mein extreme mein derisive. Derisive means bilkul hi usko degrade karna. Okay? So that is why it cannot be the answer. Alright, taking you over to the last question now. What was the author's assumption regarding her inability to get a top ranked job? Abhay, to mene aapko udhar leja ke bolo to. First two lines of the second paragraph. Tab aapke kaan kaha chai peene chale gaya the? What had happened to you guys when I was explaining? Take a look over here. What was the author's assumption regarding her inability to get a top ranked job? Usne udhar bola, she could not get a top rank job despite doing law from, uh, doing, uh, despite passing from a law school with good whatever, whatever, something, right? Kya socha author ne, aisa kya hona chahiye? Yes, you guys got it. Very good. So your assumption question is right. Your assumption answer, you got it. Very good. He thought that, oh. If you pass with flying colors, if you do well in academics, you should be able to land yourself a good job. Yes, indeed, it was B. The answer was B for this one. A good rank at school should get you a good job. Very good. Excellent. Wonderful. I hope you guys enjoyed the session. That's it from my end for this morning. Join Unacademy, guys. Those of you who haven't taken a subscription, please use my referral code Shamana Life. It's up there on the screen. And yes, a quick announcement. Critical reasoning course, second part, that is practice. We did basics in February. Practice course is coming up from 10th March at 7 p.m. It's part of the experts batch. Please join Tada and you will get to learn lots of such things. Inferences, strength and weak and conclusion, assumption. Oh, la, 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 la. See you guys later, alligator. Join me for the 11 a.m. special class, which is the vocab contest week. The beginning of the vocab contest week. Itcha, yes, I had to look for this because it was your request. All of you, bye-bye. See you.